Tolentino to serve. Bicar to Rondina. Bicar gives it back to Rondina. Ravenna gets it in the air. This could be it. Sabonte! After losing in game one, the one Lady Eagle, the Queen! And the new Neo UAAK is once again champions, champions of UAP Women's Volleyball. And they definitely work hard for it. They give you a seat. Hello there. Welcome back to another session for General Physics 1. And you just witnessed the championship point played between UST and Ateneo de Manila Lady Eagles last season 81 where Ateneo Lady Eagles crowned as the queen of UAP women's volleyball for that season. And it is always fascinating to see athletes play with the ball, either set, toss, pitch, or shoot, and then score. You will see the fruit of their intense training and repetitive actions just to perfect their skills in dealing with the ball. Just like Gia Morado, a member of the Philippine National Women's Volleyball Team, where she sets the balls perfectly to her spikers and then score. She had to lace that set a little bit so that she could set Joanna Maraginot from the other side. Went to the middle. 24. Maraginot! What an approach! She takes flight and she puts. So how did Gia set the ball? Do Gia really have the magic in her hands? The answer is that Gia masters the setting skill of the volleyball. That she already knows where to angle and how much force she needs to exert to the ball to have a perfect trajectory towards her spiker. However, for this session, we will not focus on how Gia set but on the volleyball itself. Because one key concept in sports is projectile motion. And we will talk that in this session. Prepare your calculators, your writing materials as we begin this session. So for this week, this is our objective. At the end of the week, you should be able to deduce the consequences of the independence of vertical and horizontal components of projectile motion. Calculate range, time of flight, and maximum heights of projectiles. Differentiate uniform and non-uniform circular motion. You should also be able to solve problems involving two-dimensional motion in context such as, but not limited to, ledge jumping, movie stunts, basketball, volleyball, safe locations during firework displays, and ferris wheel. And lastly, infer quantities associated with circular motion such as tangential velocity, centripetal acceleration, tangential acceleration, and radius of curvature. Now we have here Gia Morado. And as you can see in the picture, the ball is still on the hands of Gia. And she only have very, very few amount of seconds to choose where to set the ball. And in that small period of time, she thinks like Kagiyama in Haikyuu. like them have a very unique understanding of the projectile motion. They have accuracy and at the same time power to set the ball. But, but
But what I want you to realize that in every time we set a ball, we shoot a ball, or hit a ball, it follows a trajectory or a curve path. And that ball here is a projectile. A projectile is any object with initial velocity and follow the path generated by the effect of gravitational acceleration and air resistance. To analyze the projectile motion, we will construct an idealized model. An idealized model for projectile motion follows the following assumption. Number one, we will represent each projectile or object as a point particle with an acceleration due to gravity that is constant for both magnitude and direction. Number two, we will also ignore the air resistance and the curvature of the Earth. However, this is limited because if we will deal with long range of missiles and skydivers, air resistance and curvature of the Earth are crucial factors. Nevertheless, for the remaining part of our discussion, we will ignore a resistance and the curvature of the Earth. Let's further analyze what happens during projectile motion using this scenario. If you have two objects, both at the same initial point, one ball is dropped and the other is given a horizontal launch, neglecting air resistance, which of the two reaches the floor first. Now, let's illustrate this scenario this way. Suppose our ball A, baseball A, is the one that we launch horizontally, and ball B is the one we just drop. Now, let's see what happens if we neglect air resistance. As time increases, both ball A and ball B reaches the floor at the same time. Why? Let's focus on ball A. As we launch our ball A horizontally, it has an initial velocity denoted as V sub 0. Then it follows a parabolic path or trajectory. Now, as the ball follows this trajectory, we will now take note the change in position or mark the position of our ball as time increases represented by these red balls, okay? Now, at each position, we will also take note what happens along the x and y axis, what happens to their position along the x and y axis as it goes downward following a trajectory. Now, as you can see here at the x axis, the change in the position is just equal. While in the vertical axis, in the y-axis, the change in position is different. It is increasing. Now, this shows that the horizontal and vertical motions are independent of each other. They are not affected by one another as time increases. So let's focus here in our figure. As you can see, all the directed lines going downward, this one, they are the V sub Y, or the velocity of our object in the Y axis. And as you can see, this is highly affected by the acceleration due to gravity. Therefore, as it goes downward, as time increases, its velocity in the Y axis or in the vertical axis also increases. But in the x-axis, the velocity of our object or the v sub x is just the same. It is not changing. Therefore, the change in position along the x-axis will not also change. And please take note, both motions are of equal time interval. These concepts are being applied in the game Angry Birds, where your goal is to destroy the pigs at a certain location as your target. So what you do here is that you adjust the angle okay, for the trajectory and the amount of force you will exert to reach the target. In doing this, we neglect the effect of air resistance and we analyze the projectile motion 
as a combination of horizontal motion with constant velocity and a vertical motion with constant acceleration due to gravity.